It's Monday and it's International Chess Day. Uh, so I am on a new training split. Uh, this is my second week of this training split. It's a really basic training split. But um, it's actually uh, one of Chris Bumstead's old splits. And it just focuses on the heavy lifts. So I am doing chest and triceps today. Tomorrow is going to be back and biceps. Then I'm going to do a quad focus leg day on Wednesday. Then it's a day of rest after that. So Thursday is a rest day. So I'm excited to uh, follow this program for the next 12 weeks and just get back to the basics a little bit. I'll be throwing some of my own stuff in as well. And obviously I'll be recording some different exercises, movements, and some high intensity interval training, cardio workouts for you all to incorporate in your own training. But I'm gonna record this workout, just kind of show you really some of the most important uh, things you can do are some of those most basic movements. They may not be sexy, they may not be uh, what everybody, but what everybody's doing or showing on Instagram, but they work. So those compound movements are gonna be the most important things you can do. And uh, let me just run you through the, uh, the workout here. Let's get going. So we're starting the workout off with a cable fly, using this as a pre-exhaustion for the chest. So focusing on getting a good stretch and a good squeeze. I really like starting workouts off with a little bit of pre-exhaustion, just a, an isolation rhythm, followed by your heavier compound movements, because I'm always able to feel the muscle I'm working a little bit more after some sort of pre-exhaustion. Soon enough, everything starts to change. As you grow up, nobody treats you the same. They try to take your future and make it real safe. You could be a doctor, accountant, or something sane. But yo, whatever happened to the sky was the limit. I fell in love with music, never thought it was a gimmick. I worked so hard on every tune and every single lyric. My whole identity dependent on being artistic. Now you want to strip that away so you feel okay? Because if I make it to the top, what does that really say? That you shouldn't have given up, that you made the mistake. But if I fail, you feel much better about picking your lane, right? So the first compound movement of the workout is an incline barbell press. Now I typically prefer dumbbell presses over barbell presses, but it's good to change things up. And the barbell incline press is a great strength builder as well. Now I didn't go super heavy in this workout. I only went up to 185, which is actually pretty light for me, but I was feeling kind of sick this day and my left shoulder was giving me a little bit of pain, just an old injury acting up a little bit that I need to rehab. So long story short, just listen to your body. If you're experiencing some joint pain, don't try to push it. Make sure that you prioritize health first and you'll feel a lot better and lift a lot longer. For the dumbbell bench press, the first step is getting in correct position. So starting with the dumbbells on the knees, then you'll kick one knee up and then the other explosively catching them at the chest level. And you make sure on that first rep you're ready. The first rep's always gonna be the hardest one to get started. So keep your shoulder blades together and chest up, back, arched, feet driven into the ground so you have power throughout the whole body. Once you're done, bring them back to the knees, back to that starting position. That's important. You don't wanna just throw the dumbbells or drop the dumbbells. And the reason being is if you get in the habit of dropping the dumbbells, you're missing out on that all important Eastern circular negative, which is one of the most important ways that you're going to build muscle. So you're really missing out if you're just throwing the weights or dropping them. And also you're putting yourself at a really a heightened risk for injury because if you drop them wrong, you could uh, tear a pec or a rotator cuff could take your arm with you so you don't 
want to get in the habit of doing that. So if you drop the dumbbells, it should be a last resort. Like if you hit failure and you cannot return the position, but you want to get in the habit of picking them up and putting them back correctly. Now this is really light. Like I said, uh, this day I was completely feeling, feeling off. So I really don't want to use a lot of weight. So 70s are typically one of my warm up sets, but for today, I just stuck with the, the lighter weight and was listening to my body and not trying to, to push through that pain. Dumbbell incline flies are a great way to isolate your chest and hitting flies in general, whether they're cable flies or dumbbell flies, are one of the best ways to really grow your chest and also get the definition that you want that separation in the, uh, in the chest so when you're doing these to protect your shoulders just make sure again you keep those shoulder blades back so if you're keeping your shoulder blades in the correct position you can really go deep into that stretch and maximize the movement the common mistake is keeping the shoulders rolled forward and relaxed and that's where you're going to start to feel that pain in the front of your shoulder. So the primary tricep exercise today is going to be an incline skull crusher and I really like the incline skull crusher because the angle of the bench I feel like it enables you to maintain that tension on the tricep a little bit better than just tr a traditional flat bench skull crusher. To really maximize the benefits of this, try not to pause at the top. Just get a squeeze and go right into the next rep and maintain that constant muscle tension on the tricep rep after rep. You'll feel it a lot more. You're never gonna make it, you're not good enough. There's a million other people with the same stuff. You really think you're different, man, you must be kidding. Think you're gonna hit it, but you just don't get it. It's impossible, it's not probable, you're irresponsible. Too many obstacles, you gotta stop it, yo, you gotta take it slow. Last exercise in the workout, just a body weight dip, and we're just going to failure for three sets. The first set, I was trying to break 20, and I did 21. The next set, I know that I'm not gonna get quite as many reps because I'm keeping the rest period under a minute. So I got 12 reps and then the third set, I was right around eight to 10. But it's a great way to finish off your chest and triceps once you're already fatigued and really pump some blood into them. So really phenomenal way to hit your lower chest as well. A little bit better than the decline bench in my opinion and just a phenomenal strength builder for your entire upper body. So if you're using this as a strength exercise, you can always use it earlier in your workout and add some weight with a weight belt or a dumbbell hanging behind you. But for today, we're just gonna be using it as a way to finish off the chest and triceps, so staying light. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit a thumbs up on the video, and introduce yourself if you're new here, comment below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.